So a lot of us here at USC working on what might be called origins questions. And this really is the whole business of really why question at the, at, the, at the lowest level you can get it to. This happens in physics, in chemistry, but also in other fields such as paleontology and in the humanities. And so it really is sort of drilling down to the, the most basic things that are underlying some area of uh, inquiry. In my case, I'm worried, for example, about issues to do with the origin of the entire universe. What are all these phenomena that we see uh, coming from? What's everything made of? I work on various areas of high energy physics primarily. For example, studies of the early universe, studies when gravity is very strong, studies of uh, things like black holes, and various issues in particle physics as well. One of the things that's really exciting me right now is a whole new area of string theory. What's been happening in the last several years is that there have been all of these great tools we've developed in trying to understand string theory. We've developed it into this really powerful toolbox, which has actually begun to possibly find applications in several other areas of physics, for example, in condensed matter and in nuclear physics and atomic physics. And so this is really exciting to me because it's, it's an aspect of the serendipity of research that happens where you have unexpected applications for things you've been thinking about. And it's a full string theory description. There is only one dimension and the brain extends along that direction and the only other brain. And I'm working here at USC with several of my students on various topics that are really exploring these various applications of string theory. We're not really sure where this is going to lead, but it's clear that there's a lot of exciting stuff to be explored. I think it's really a great thing if people take some time out to, to learn some science. Science is a way of organizing uh, one's thought about something in a way that allows you to get real answers to questions. It's a very structured kind of thinking because after all, structured thinking is, is, is a good thing to be able to do in any context. And, and that's really what physics trains you to do. It trains you to cut through the noise and, and make the connections between the underlying key issues for whatever it is you're uh, trying to answer.